So I've been a fan of German watchmaking for quite some time. And although Germany doesn't get quite as much love as their neighboring nation, Switzerland, in the watchmaking department, the top brands from Germany do certainly get their flowers. But today we're looking at a independent brand that you should be aware of, Moritz Grossmann. This brand is incredible in terms of the finishing, putting them on the same level and class of Langa, but I don't think many people even know that they exist. Today we're looking at a very special watch from this brand and a brand, again, that you should know of. Let's jump in. So before we jump into this video, if you want more in the world of German watchmaking, like Moritz Grossmann, I would recommend checking out our blog, looking at about 15 of some of the best brands in Germany. Try to highlight all different types of brands, ones at the more attainable perspective, high-end, independent perspective, as well as brands that you might not be as familiar with. Check it out, we'll be in the description down below. Starting with a bit of background on Moritz Grossmann, the namesake founder was born in Dresden, Germany in 1826 and began his training as a watchmaker in 1842. After finishing his technical training and gaining real world experience as a journeyman in London, Hamburg, Paris, Stockholm, Copenhagen, and Switzerland, Grossman set up his own shop in the German watchmaking mecca of Glasuta in 1854. After a decorated career as a watchmaker and even helping to set up the prestigious German school of watchmaking that was in operation for 114 years, Grossman suddenly died in 1885, leaving behind a strong legacy, but a brand that would remain dormant for over a century. That was until 2008 when Christine Hutter, a watchmaker, purchased Moritz Grossman and set out to preserve and expand the established legacy of the brand's namesake. Having gained experience at other brands in Glasuta, such as Glasuta Original, Langa, Hutter was uniquely situated to take on the task, releasing Morris Grossman's first modern watches in 2010. And since then, while the aforementioned Langa owned by industry giant in Richemont has become the German high watchmaking darling brand, Morris Grossman has quietly compiled an impressive reputation to those in the know for both its finishing ability and technical acumen when it comes to in-house capabilities. But for our showcase here, we have a great way to mark the occasion of this brand's first appearance on this channel, as this just isn't any standard Morris Grossman model, but instead a full custom, one of one piece with a dial handmade by Kerry Butelainen, one of, if not the finest artists and dial makers on earth. So there is a lot to unpack with this watch, but let's start out with the aesthetics of the dial. Beginning at the outskirts, this is a one of one watch, which is based on the standard Banu date model, equipped with a unique pointer date function that was patented by Moritz Grossman. Set over a disc executed in white with printed date numerals in a pale shade of blue, we have a rose gold set of brackets straddling the date. Under the macro lens, you can see even these tiny brackets are impressively well finished, a theme that can definitely carry through the dial and the watch as a whole. Just within the date, a rose gold ring with circular brushing and tiny dot indices demarcates the dial's outskirts from its most eye-catching aspect, a central surface with a unique and beautiful hand guilloché finish. The broker who managed the sale of this custom model, Boris, who's also a lovely gentleman, he's from watchesinart.com, immediately thought of Finnish watchmaker Kari Butelainen when his client requested a guilloché dial surface. If you're new to independent watchmaking and don't know of Kari, He's another name to add to your list, known as one of the greatest living artisans in watchmaking and has become increasingly active in showcasing his avant-garde dial finishing and technical watchmaking acumen in select releases. In this case, the watch features a blue-green or British racing green color and sunray guilloché pattern that is simply extraordinary. Guilloché, which is traditionally accomplished with a rose engine and extremely skilled operator, is utilized to create these finely cut patterns in the dial surface. It's extremely time-consuming work that requires an immense level of focus and is not forgiving when it comes to even the slightest errors. At six, a sub-seconds register offers another guilloché pattern with its own rose gold ring that ties the entire dial concept together, offering remarkable contrast from the central green. At the center, a pair of hands in Moritz Grossman's unique style manages time-telling, with the hands undergoing several stages of polishing in order to maintain its end result. In addition, the hands are heat-treated brown rather than 
then being blued, which requires perfect timing in the heating process in order to showcase their golden brown hue. At 12, it then applied signature complete with its own faceted edges, helps to act as a counter for these small seconds while ensuring it's clear who created this piece. Now turning the watch over, we are greeted with a equally beautiful view when looking through the Sapphire Exhibition case back affixed with seven tiny screws, allowing an unimpeded showcase of the hand winding caliber within the 100.3. Now based on the time only 100.1, the 100.3 is a large movement spanning 36.4 millimeters and easily filling up the inside of the 41 millimeter case while consisting of 259 individual components. The oversized variable inertia balance wheel measuring at 14.2 millimeters in diameter is especially eye catching with its slow 18,000 vibrations per hour beat rate and topped off with its ornate balance cock. As you might be aware, hand engraved balance bridges tend to be emblematic indicators for high end German watchmaking, now most commonly associated with Langa. However, this is among the best I have ever seen here. Its spiraling weave engulfs the large surface area, setting an elaborate backdrop for the polished regulating organ above, used for fine tune adjustment of the balance spring tension, which on the note of, the movement is adjusted and regulated in five positions. This hand engraving extends to a neighboring bridge for the escapement wheel pivot, which is designed in the surrounding array to complement the central heat blued screw. Looking elsewhere, the bulk of this German silver movement offers a range of finishing techniques with horizontal glass Suta ribbing, snailing on the ratchet wheel, and raised gold chatons with pan head screws that secure three of the more prominent jewels. Well, technically in this case, they're made of sapphire, a defining characteristic of Moritz Grossman. Now, virtually every other surface has been mere polished and chamfered with the three quarter plate also presenting hand engraving that is done in a more Gothic typography text. But apart from looking the part, the movement also has some unconventional features, starting with the date mechanism. As mentioned, this is a patented uh, system by MG and setting this is done with the help of an additional crown at the 10 o'clock position that allows you to set the date bidirectionally with its rotation. The other point of interest here comes with the setting of the time. While many handmade watch movements from the high horology brand spectrum lean into non-hacking calibers, this 100.3 caliber offers a unique execution of a hacking function. Essentially, the crown at the three doesn't actually pull out in a conventional manner, offering a spring-loaded actuation that simply stops the balance when you pull the crown, therefore stopping the second hand in the process. Then after you've set the precise time with the hands, you simply press the small pusher located below the winding crown which re-engages the balance and also makes the crown once again ready for winding. It's a unique execution and works impressively well and smoothly in practice, offering yet another example of the special work coming from this brand. In terms of general specs here, again, operating at 18,000 vibrations per hour, 2.5 hertz, has an unconventional hacking, and of course, this is a hand winding movement and a power reserve of 42 hours. Turning the watch over again, we can discuss the case and wearing experience presented by this piece. At 41 millimeters in diameter, 11.8 millimeters in thickness, when taking into account that dome sapphire crystal and a 50.4 millimeter lug to lug, this watch should present a comfortable and size appropriate wearing experience, but going to be towards the larger end for a watch of this dress type of approach. I would say this one wears true to size, if not smaller, since the central case is not overwhelming in stature. The architecture is relatively subtle, leaning into generally rounded curvature along the lugs and case flanks with only a hint of a bevel along the lugs. Finishing is, as most often the case with pink gold, completely polished, offering another level of dressy refinement to what already is clearly an established dress piece. Given the amount of case openings here, it's no surprise, especially for, again, this use case, this model doesn't advertise any water resistance, but we're confident you probably wouldn't pick this one up to go swimming anyway. Topped off with a genuine brown alligator strap set between 20 millimeter lugs, tapering to 18 millimeters with a pink gold deployant style clasp to match the remaining case. Now, a big reason why I wanted to cover this watch is because I do think when it comes to German watchmaking in general, of course they get their flowers at the top end of the brands that everybody knows, but there are all these other great brands at uh, kind of these hidden points within the industry that I don't think get the amount of shine or attention that they deserve. And Morris Grossman is definitely one of those. When I first handled one of these watches, I really was blown away in terms of the finishing that is going to be put forth here, mostly when it comes down to the hand engraving of that balance cock. This has become such a synonymous point for another brand in Germany that when you see this, you're like, huh, 
maybe you want to question everything that you've been told before because this is an absolutely beautiful brand to look at. It's of course expensive, I believe for this particular version, you're talking about north of $60,000, but to get a Kari dial, one of one with a movement that's finished to this degree with some unconventional approaches in terms of how it's going to be operated, I think this is a unique piece in the marketplace. And I'm all about just showcasing different artisans in this industry and people that are doing uh, different interesting things. And as you get into this world of watchmaking, there's many of the same brands you see over and over again. And with the hyperfixation of the brands on the top, it's always just refreshing for me to be able to talk about a brand that is not maybe getting the same amount of love or attention that I think that they truly deserve. Moritz Grossman is a brand that you should know about, even if you don't like their style or it's just not for you. This is art and craftsmanship absolutely personified from a German watchmaking perspective. But all right guys, that is my video here today looking at Morris Grossman, a brand that you should definitely at least be aware of in the world of independent watchmaking. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon, really would appreciate that. Also, definitely check out the Instagram, subscribe to our newsletter and teddyballister.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Well, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.